G'day One What Fly Squad, my name is Jaden, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently at Melbourne Airport, it's hustling and bustling with cars and people. Today I'm going to fly Qantas Airbus A220 from here to Brisbane, Australia. It's going to be their inaugural A220 on this route. Their first A220 flight is going to be today as well to Canberra, from here to Canberra. But I'm not going to fly that, I'm going to fly their second flight, which is going to Brisbane instead. Now without further ado, let's check in with Qantas. I'm currently having breakfast at the Qantas Domestic Business Lounge. My friend, who's a Qantas Platinum member, guested me in. Breakfast is really decent today, so is the barista coffee. You can make yourself a fruit punch, which I find it to be really cool. From the business lounge, you've got an amazing tarmac view overlooking Terminal 1 traffic. That is Qantas Link Flight QF1266 heading to Canberra. It's the very first Qantas Airbus A220 commercial flight. This particular aircraft is only one month old. Registration, Victor Hotel, X-Ray 4 Bravo. Several YouTubers are on board, including Aviation 763, Paul Stewart, and Young Aussie Traveller. My flight to Brisbane today is actually going to be on this aircraft as well, so I'll be in the lounge for a while until that plane comes back from Canberra. But that's okay because I've got some work to do, and also I can check out the lunch later in the business lounge. Cheers. For lunch I had some pork rice. It had some interesting flavour, like the ones you get in fusion restaurants. Not very authentic, but nonetheless not bad. Pushing back is the sixth ever Qantas indigenous livery, and the first one ever on a Qantas Link aircraft. The name is really long and I can't pronounce it. This aircraft is operating the second A220 flight to Canberra. My aircraft that just came back from Brisbane, Victor Hotel, X-Ray 4, Bravo just came back, so now let's get on board. Like Tessie side, for the customers, gentlemen, will commence shortly. By the right hand side, how you remain clear of the gate into your number is called. Thank you. Hello. Okay, enjoy your flight. Thank you very much. Hello. Hiya, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Good, yourself? I'm very well, thank, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome on board. My seat today, 4F, first row in economy. You might think that you're missing out on the seat features because you don't have a normal economy seat in front of you, but that's not the case on this aircraft. You can find USB-A, C ports, and also universal power socket underneath your seat. You still get access to a seat pocket in front of you. It's on the seat back of a business class seat. Leg room is enormous at row 4. If you're sat in the middle, your leg room is a little bit restricted. Now this is a new feature that you find on A220 bulkhead seats, but not on the 73, and that's the airbag on your seat belt. Fortunately, it's not that heavy, you don't really feel it. If you do feel it, just loosen your seat belt. Let's recline on your economy seat, but the angle isn't that big compared to 737 seats. Every passenger has access to their own air vents and reading light. We get a cute little card and also a gingerbread cookie to celebrate this flight to Brisbane. To your app store. Welcome on board today's flight QF1254. 
from Melbourne to Brisbane operated by our brand new Qantas Link Airbus A220 aircraft. This week marks the first week of flying for our A220. So you're among the first group of customers we are pleased to welcome on board. We have 29 of these aircraft due to be joining our fleet as we steadily replace our long servicing fleet of Boeing 717s. Our A220 offers a more spacious, brighter cabin, more comfortable seats and fast free Wi-Fi and also generates lower fuel emissions. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Make sure you only inflate your life jacket after you leave the aircraft. The A220 is a much quieter plane compared to 737 and the aircraft that Qantas is trying to replace with its A220, the Boeing 717. Refreshment service is about to begin, so it's time to take out your tray table. If you're sat in the bulkhead, you'll find your tray table inside your armrest. On the A220, there's no personal TV, but rather they encourage you to use your own personal device, including your mobile phone, which you can rest on the tray table flap. That way you can connect to the Wi-Fi, watch some YouTube or Netflix, and just leave your phone there. Today's flight, they are serving cheese and crackers and a range of beverages, including red and white wine, and beers. The cabin crew was really proactive in offering alcoholic beverages. He explained the wine selection. So for red wine today, it's a Shiraz. For white wine, it's Sauvignon Blanc. It's not a bad midday snack, but I would have appreciated something hot. From Melbourne. My name is uh, Scott Allen, and uh, Captain Big Red Atlantic is also Captain Scott Warren. We're currently cruising at 33,000 feet, just over 10,000 meters. We're making good time, and. Uh, Weather in Brisbane for our arrival is fine. We're going for a forecast temperature of 29 degrees Celsius. We're expecting an arrival time at uh, 3.30. We need to adjust your clocks back one hour from uh, Melbourne time. Thanks for joining us and uh, we'll chat to you on the to send with further information for the arrival. Once again, welcome aboard. Halfway through the flight, the crew came to check on us and gave everybody a bottle of water. Again, as I've mentioned earlier, for entertainment, there's no TV, so there's only Wi-Fi and also in-flight magazines. Wi-Fi is free of charge, but the speed isn't that great today. Hello, welcome to Qantas A220 Economy Lavatory. We're at the one at the back, I believe there's two. Noticeably a lot bigger than the ones on 737. Very clean as well.
The configuration in economy is 2-3, just like their Boeing 717. However, the aisle on the A220 is so wide, so there's no awkward squeezing through when there are two people walking down the opposite direction. So we're flying over the Gold Coast and we're going to start descending into Brisbane. And I'm going to quickly give you my honest opinions about Qantas A220 economy class. I do like the new colours on those seats. The seats they have on 717 and 737 are black and they make the overall environment and vibe of the cabin a bit dark. So I do like the new colours. The bigger windows and wider aisle on the A220 make it a really comfortable experience. Furthermore, there are three lavatories on board, same as the bigger 737, so there's less waiting for everyone to use the lavatory. I think it's a shame that there's no TV on the seat, but I like the new seat features that you don't see on other older Qantas planes, like USB-C, and a flap on the tray table or seat back that holds your phone. So overall, it's a good product, but it's not game-changing. A few years ago, I flew Air France A220. They have really beautiful carpets on their A220, including on the economy side, and the Air France seats are more comfortable economically. The Qantas A220 don't have double seat back padding, but the Qantas 737 do. So on a longer flight, you might find the 737 to be a bit more comfortable still. So that's all I've got to say today. For your reference, the airfare on this route on board Qantas starts from $179. Thank you very much for watching today. Remember to like, comment and share, and please subscribe if you haven't done so. I upload a true report like this one every single week, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Now please enjoy the approach and landing into Brisbane, and after that I'll have a layover in Brisbane, and I'll show you my Brisbane layover after disembarking. See you later then, bye. So that was a lovely flight on board Qantas A220. I can get used to it. My Brisbane friend is picking me up. Tonight I'm staying at the Western Brisbane, a Marriott hotel in the CBD. So we got upgraded to a very large king room on the top floor, 16th floor. It's cheaper than Hilton and surprisingly nicer than Hilton, especially with a swimming pool, which I'll show you tomorrow. The bed is super big and comfy, one of the best hotel beds ever. Bathroom is massive as well, sadly there's no bathtub. But hey, we got rain shower. Dinner and service at the lounge is top notch. We've got butter chicken today and pork belly.
a lot, yes, definitely. And the rent's expensive in Brisbane nowadays. Yeah, my apartment went through. We're having drinks at the Sofitel Brisbane lobby. I'm only here for one night and I'm catching up with my friends, so I'm not doing any sightseeing this trip. Good night from Brisbane. Look at the moon, it's so bright. Breakfast is lovely. Barista coffee is free of charge, unlike the ones at Hilton Hotels in Australia. The swimming pool is to die for. There's a bar, and the vibe is just lovely. So that's all for my layover in Brisbane. It's not really a trip, just a layover. In the afternoon, I'm flying back to Adelaide on Virgin Australia. Thank you very much for watching today, especially to my patrons and PayPal Me members for your continuous support. I'll see you again on Thursday when I upload another true report. Bye.